Hi guys, so it's uh, Bricks and Things here, and I have the 2021 Trouble on Tatooine uh, Lego Star Wars set, and I'm going to review it for you guys. So, let's start with, with the hut, the little uh, tent for, for the Tusken Raider. So this one is actually not that interesting that's why we're starting with it so as you can see you have a fire right here fire pit you can sit uh, figures around it and then you actually have the tent which can see sit which can seat uh, like three figures I think you can also open it up make it wide open so it makes like a makes like a wall and when you close it up, it has a lot of gaps. Um, you can't really see them in the video that much, but you can notice them a lot, like in person. Yeah, you can see how many gaps it has, but it's just uh, an extra thing that they included in the set. All right, now let's uh, look at the crossbow. Not crossbow, the ballista. All right, so uh, there's nothing much to the ballista. It just has like a handle back here for, for the Tuscan Raider. And it has the, the string or ropes. I don't know what they're supposed to be. But they you can't pull them back or pull them or push them forward. And then this, it can spin around, but it doesn't really do anything. Uh, and then you can shoot this uh, the spring loaded shooter like that, and it actually works really well. I just shot off this bone over here, but that's about it for the ballista. And the ballista is better than the tent for sure. Now let's look at the speeder. So the speeder has a lot of detail on the sides and even the back the part which you don't see it has a lot of detail uh, and the front has the two weapons you see the two uh, two barrels for a gun for to shoot out of and then you can see more detail on the side over here you have a, a spot for uh, for Grogu you can put him there and then carry him like that. And you have handlebars for your Mandalorian figure. And that's about it for the speeder, but it, it actually looks pretty good. I just think it's a little, uh, little too thick, but uh, it's okay. It's a nice uh, design. So now let's take a look at the figures. Okay, so here's the Mandalorian. It's the cheapest way to get him in this set. And he has his full Vescar armor. So, and he has arm printing on both sides. So it's a pretty good figure for a $30 set. And all the printing is shiny. So it reflects, as you can see right there. Um, the helmet is a little bit lighter than the previous ver version. And you can see it comes with a pistol and his long rifle. And... Underneath, you're going to find a black head without any printing, so no face for this one. And then in the back, uh, there's a nice printing. There's nice printing in the back, uh, which is shiny, as you can see, too. So overall, pretty good figure. It makes the, the set really uh, worth it with those arm printings. So now let's take a look at the the child or Grogu. Okay, so here's Grogu. He he has printing only in the front torso and in the eyes, but the detail on him on his head, on his forehead, is pretty good. Uh, in the back, as you can see, there's nothing, and it's a really cute minifigure or minifigure baby. And that makes the set more valuable.
because you you have the child and the Mandalorian. So now let's take a look at the Tuscan Raider. So here's the Tuscan Raider for this set, and as far as I can see, there's no difference from the Obi Wan one from the Obi Wan hut, Obi Wan's hut set. So it's basically the same figure with the same uh, toothpick weapon, whatever you want to call it. So it's a nice figure, but uh, we've seen it before. So I think that's about it for the video. And make sure you guys subscribe and like. And stay tuned for the X-Wing review.